Ladies and gentlemen, I'm blissful of goats here Hi. after a week of dealing with COVID. I'm back. Um, we've got a new scripted video coming out hopefully tomorrow, but for now I'm going to show you guys a, a, a new deck from the format with my friend, with my friend. The Shuttle Gamer. Yeah, fellow YouTuber Sean and Gamer got a new video on his channel recently. If you want to go watch that, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, what are you going to show us today, man? I'm going to show you the Ubel deck, pure Ubel, um, just before the uh, Fiendsmith uh, edge releases. Oh, yes. So, we were Curse Fiendsmith. <laughs> Sincerely, since, since all BA players. Curse that deck. <laughs> <laughs> so, today we were playing um, one Terran Carnet. Okay. One original Ubel. Guys, I, I love it when these kind of decks play the old stuff. So it's just kind of for an old fat like me, it's kind of nice to see those yeah. cards. Free Spirit of Bell. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a hand trap to stop that our uh, battle declaration can drop itself onto yeah. the field. I went summoned. It searches a Bell spell or trap. I can't be destroyed by, by uh, battle, so it makes for a good uh, hand trap. But it also makes for a good extender and starter to the deck. Makes sense. We play free Samsoridi Lotus. Hmm. The normal summon of the deck, if you play in, if you want to play into Ubel, mm. on normal summon, it doesn't have any effects, but it has the effect that you contribute it for cost and summon a Ubel from your deck. So quick assistant. Also, can I say something? Yeah. Looking at all these cards so far, it seems like the idea of this deck is just take old card art and make them grumpier. Yeah, very. <laughs> the, the press, the press original plan. Yeah. But um, obviously, the idea is to tribute, it, get your spirit Ubel, get your play yeah. started. Uh, we play free. Bruce and Grave Squirmer, which is the extender for the deck. If you control a fiend on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Yeah. Uh, and you can choose to, when you special summon the card, to pop a Ubel on the field, face up. Nice. And obviously that gets you to your other Ubel forms, and it gets your other plays going. If it's in the graveyard, you can hmm. banish it for cost to summon a 0-0 fiend from your graveyard or your hand. God, this deck's got so much fun and recursion and extension, it's insane. It does, yeah. And then we go on to the spells for the deck. We play the one terror form, and obviously it's yeah. just, just a fourth copy of the free Nightmare Throne. This card's insane. When you activate it, you can search for a zero zero fiend from your deck or destroy yeah. a zero zero fiend from your deck. And if a Ubel card would leave the field by a card effect, you can um, add a Ubel from your deck. Uh, pretty sure it's Banish and Graveyard. You have deck ban oh, Banish yeah. one, sorry. A graveyard of banishment added to hand that you can choose to summon it or not. So, yeah. if a terror, say a terror card left the field, for instance, you could add Spirit Rebel to your hand and summon it again and get your search during your opponent's yeah. turn. Also, guys, just so you know, once these cards come down in price a bit, I'm going to test out that, the Fiend Link version of Labyrinth as one of these. So, look out for that. We play two Nightmare Pain. It would yeah, usually painful be, to play against this card. <laughs> it would usually be at three, but due to uh, consistency issues, I think playing it at two is great because you can recur it anyway. Yeah. With the other engine we're playing deck, but uh, Nightmare Pain. When you activate, you can destroy one dark monster on your field or in your hand, and you can search for a new bell card or a card that states you bell as text, and it's a hand. You cannot search the field, uh, the field spell because it says new bell monsters in its text, so you usually would search for either your monsters or the uh, other spell I would add here, which would be Mature Chronicle, which is, uh, it activates every time a new bell monster, uh, monster you bell as text that is uh, special to the field. You get one token, you can put special when you bow from the text. Two tokens, you can uh, add one of your banish cards to your hand. Three tokens, banish yeah. card from your deck. Cool. Four tokens, non target pop card on field. Five tokens, add super poly to your deck. <laughs> So we're playing the Respondable. Gotta hit this card. Uh, we are not playing the trap in this in this build because we feel like the Mature Chronicle and Super Poly are better targets because obviously Super Poly is un unresponsible. Yeah. And uh, that way you can't uh, interact with the trap usually when you have feet. You have to control your bell on field as well. So the original yeah. bell. So obviously not, not this time, but yeah. after Snake Eyes gets hit, do you think this could be on the chopping block sometime soon? It could be, yeah. But also, if a lot of people go into Feed Smith, you might want to keep it in. But we'll the engine we're playing. We're playing the Dark Beckoned Beast engine, which is a uh, two Dark Beckoned Beast, one Chaos Summoning Beast. Uh, when this is summoned, you can search for any uh, card that has a uh, Sacred, uh, Sacred Beast in its text. So yeah. that's why we're playing the Brick. But it's a level one Dark. And we're playing free opening because we want to see Dark Beckoned Beast because it gets to that place. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's got free effects. So when it's activated, you can add a Ura, Hammer, or. Raviel, a uh, Sacred Beast card to hand, or cards yeah. to state them in the text. Second effect, discard a card, you can add what, you can special from your, da from your grave, one feed that has zero zero, ta uh, zero zero attack. Yep. And third effect, if you control a level 10 feed, you can add a continuous from your, from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. So that's why we were playing the two pain, because we can recur. 
We were playing a small Unchained Engine, which is just one Shavara and one Abominable. God, I wish this cat wasn't at one. I love that deck. <laughs> Uh, as we know with Link players, you can put the Unchained Link spam yeah. engine there, sweet board, use your opponent's monsters, do that turn. Yeah. And then we played the one, one for one, That's because we, fire, sorry, we yeah. just play loads of hand traps, so why not the scan a hand trap to get your full combo? Makes sense. Hand traps we were playing for this uh, specific tournament were free Ash, free DD Crow, free Effect Mailer, and free Imperm. Okay, most of this makes sense, but why, what, what, what was the crow for? Uh, mainly voiceless voice and branded, because yeah. uh, graveyard instructions always... Yeah. One second, just, just taking some notes here, because I hate both those decks. <laughs> <laughs> In uh, the main deck, we were playing one Albrage for normal summons. Yep. We were playing one Cross Sheep, because with the new uh, Fusion, we could combo off. Nice. We were playing one Unchained Rage, Unchained Yammer... I don't change anguish. Just kind of stirred. Yeah, second. no problem. Thank you. Uh, don't change combo with the uh, Bountiful and uh, Shamar in the deck. We all know what it does. You can use them as link, uh, link target monster, use it as link material. Okay. It's always good to do the uh, soul play using the trap, go to SP during your opponent's turn, yep. Spanish cards, it's always good interruption. We play Muckracker because with Muckracker we can. With the Griffin Lock, if you want to, but uh, the idea of a crack, you can be born on your feet, so yeah, it's so just recursion, yeah. Keep recurring, uh, two level fours. We were playing Appaloosa and Access Code because OTK potential and yeah. all that malarkey. We were playing one in time train smash, <laughs> deal, well, deal damage just in case, yeah. And uh, we were playing one uh, Rudas, which is the new uh, okay. we played in deck. It's uh, Xyz 10. Um, you can negate a monster and choose to discard an additional material to. Pop a card on field. If it has a material under it, you're a damage step. If it battles, it can pop a card on field. And if the card is popped itself, it can destroy a card on field. Nice. And then we'll play one. You bell the loving defender for the super poly target. And then two, the new card, Fat Mew Bell. Oh, this card is so, so broken. Contact for you from hand, field, or graveyard, and it becomes a monster to get on field. Replace the effect to pop you bell from deck. So nice. it's, it's good to keep against hand traps. Uh, extra uh, side deck we were playing free yes. barrier, Do barrier. bestial engine just did one of each uh, one bestial one magnum one juice worm yeah ogres yep two storms one duster and free droplets because yeah, so you don't like voiceless voice a lot that's yeah nice. it was a lot of voiceless voice and branded in, yeah. in our locals so we just tend to uh, make sure we got the outs to the usual All right, well, gates and whatnot. well thanks man for the deck profile well, I hope you guys worry. enjoy watching it um, next good video is coming out tomorrow and again, I'll put a link to this to my, my friend here's new video in the comments below. See you guys soon. Thanks, Thanks, <laughs>